You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to rollermartinunfiltered.com. Our goal is to get 20,000 of our fans contributing 50 bucks each for the whole year. You can make this possible. rollermartinunfiltered.com. Folks, federal authorities say riders plan to capture and assassinate, assassinate lawmakers, including Vice President Mike Pence, when they stormed the U.S. Capitol on Wednesday, January 6th. At least 21 riders who stormed the U.S. Capitol were reportedly current or former cops or members of the military. Some of them were highly trained. Now, federal prosecutors are saying there is strong evidence that the insurrectionists included cops and military members who stormed the U.S. Capitol. Uh, and again, talk about how dangerous this is, this is. The FBI has been investigating to see which riders plotted to kidnap members of Congress and hold them hostage. They're focusing particularly on the men seen carrying plastic zip tie handcuffs and pepper spray. I want to go to my panel right now uh, on this very issue. Talk about uh, a serious, serious issue that we're dealing with and is shedding new light on exactly what took place uh, at the U.S. Capitol. Uh, joining us right now, of course, uh, is Michael M. Hotep. Uh, he is, of course, uh, he is the host of the African History uh, Network show. Also, uh, we have Rob Richardson. He's the host of Disruption Now podcast, as well as Killer Bethel Communication Strategies. Uh, I want to start with you, uh, Rob. Uh, again, more details. Republicans have, have been desperate to say, oh, this is only a few people. This is only a handful of people. It got out of hand. But according to Capitol Hill police officers, they said people were having two-way two radios. They said this was very well planned. We cannot act as if uh, this was just, just, just a few bad apples, uh, Rob. No. These were individuals who were taking orders from Donald Trump, from Rudy Giuliani, from Donald Trump Jr., from Republican members of Congress. They wanted to do harm. This is truly a national security issue. It absolutely is. And I am happy that the FBI now recognizes that, though, this has been clear. They've been planning this in plain sight. It's been on, if you look on social media, they been they had a long trail of what they were going to do. They said what they were going to do, and then they actually did it. Uh, and they didn't take the, the threat seriously. We know why, because if it's white men that are Trump supporters, they can't be a threat to national security. They absolutely can. They are, they are the threat, as you said right now. And, and I really want to make the point here that these are folks uh, that really plan this out. Uh, they, they, we know that they tore out uh, panic buttons from uh, Congress members that couldn't use that. So it, had they been successful, uh, they would have been able to do this. And they were very, very close to being successful in pulling this thing off. And it really, we really have to take a look and make sure that we get our, our security together. And the security has to remove its bias and clearly go after this. This wasn't a one-off. This was a coordinated uh, terrorist attack. These weren't protesters. These weren't, these weren't even rioters. They are domestic terrorists that we have to take them seriously, uh, Roland, and um, and we need the FBI to make sure that they are doing this. And I will say this, and, and you know, as a point of law, anybody else that was associated with this, how it normally works, people died. I believe it's at least five people that have died right now. There's this little part of the of criminal law called felony murder. And when you commit an act that's illegal and someone dies in it, you can be charged with murder even though you didn't commission the murder. That is the rule. So there's a lot of people, I believe, that are also responsible for murder, even if they didn't uh, beat those officers or actually uh, were the ones that laid hands on them. All right, folks, back to that my unfiltered video in just one moment. It's time to be smart. When we control our institutions, we win. We win. This is the most important news show on television of any racial background. Y'all put two, three, four, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, thirty dollars on this and keep this going. What you've done, Roland, since this crisis came out in full bloom. Anybody watching this, tell your friends. Go back and look at the last two weeks, especially of Roland Martin Unfiltered. I mean, hell, go back and look at the last two days. You've had sitting United States senators today, Klobuchar and Harris. Whatever you have that you have, you can bring to Roland Martin Unfiltered to support it. Please do, because this information may literally save your life. Watch Roland Martin Unfiltered daily at 6 p.m. Eastern on YouTube, Facebook, or Periscope, or go to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Support the Roland Martin Unfiltered Daily Digital Show by going to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Our goal is to get 20,000 of our fans contributing 50 bucks each for the whole year. You can make this possible. RolandMartinUnfiltered.com.